So we'll start with chest pain, angina. So remember the main dauma group for the heart was this area called the leg three penetrations. It's the santong, right? And remember these points, eight, eight, one, two, and three. This is tongguan, tongshan, tongtian, penetrate the uh, gate. Uh, tongshan, penetrate the mountain, and tongtian, penetrate heaven. These are above the femur. Uh, on the anterior midline, we needle them just straight in perpendicularly. 88.01 Tongguan is five tsun above the patella. Then the other two are each two tsun away, respe respectively. So this is a main set of points that we can use for regulating uh, for regulating heart. I don't think I. Let me see if I put this in here separately. We'll talk about it a little bit later under atrial, fib atrial fibril fibrillations, but. Um, I'll just tell you now. So this set of point we can use for regulating the pulse as well. So for irregular pulses, patients in AFib, I can tell you that I've had more than one patient uh, who was in AFib basically go back into sinus rhythm on the table from acupuncture alone. Um, I had had one patient, haven't seen him in a while, um, uh, which I'm taking as a good sign. He would go into AFib frequently he didn't like to go to the hospital to get shocked. And his uh, one of his children was a, still is, a medical doctor in the area here, like a regular MD, an internal medicine specialist. And so he would go to the office first, do an EKG, confirm he's an AFib. He would come to my office, we would do acupuncture. He could feel it go back into sinus rhythm. We could feel it on the pulse as well, but he would go back to the regular doctor's office because it was his kids. Uh, his kid, he didn't have to pay for it. And uh, the EKG afterwards would show back in sinus rhythm. So arrhythmias as well. Now, certainly not all arrhythmias or even patients in atrial fibrillation will respond immediately. Um, I've had some patients who go back for just a short while and go right back out. Sometimes they never go back in, and but it happens. I've had lots of patients who they shock to get them back into normal sinus rhythm and they go out like an hour later as well. So it really will depend on the patient. Some of the, uh, some of the patients will go back into sinus rhythm for a long period of time. Some of them go out very frequently. So for the heart, we, you can needle these bilaterally if you want to. Typically in Dong's acupuncture, we don't needle all three at the same time. At least that's the, uh, the traditional recommendation. So I will typically needle two at a time, um, but if you, you can do two at a time on both legs. You can also inspect the anterior thigh for areas of small spider nevi. If one side has small, small spider nevi, needle that side and just don't bother with the other side. Uh, and if you want to cut down on the number of needles, you can just needle whatever side you like, needle one side, and then you can uh, go back and forth. Yep. So that's great experience. So someone even here has used them successfully on themselves. So these points have a really very strong regulatory effect on the heart. Now in our, uh, our introduction letter, we talked quite a bit about these points as being almost really representative of the pericardium channel. Keep in mind that most of the points related to heart in Dong's acupuncture will have a connection to the pericardium channel. So the connection here to the pericardium channel is through the stomach, Yang Ming goes to the pericardium, Jue Yin. We'll also see points further down in the stomach channel that all have heart associations. We see points on the liver channel will have points with the, have, have a heart association. So the liver channel is the Jue Yin, goes to the pericardium Jue Yin. And yes, to be clear, this is 88.1, 2, and 3, the leg three penetrations. If you go back earlier in the presentation, under the, we did the overview of the different Dama groups, this will be one of the Dama groups there. Okay. So this one we can use certainly for chest pain for regulating of the heart in general. That's our, one of our main Dalma groups. The other set of points we can use is uh, Renzong, Dizong, and Tianzong. The word Zong here is ancestor. So uh, Tian Di Ren, we see this naming convention frequently in Dong's acupuncture, heaven, earth, and humanity. These are located, located on zone four. So they're on the upper arm. So the main one of this is the middle one, Dizong. So I just gave you this in the description. Uh, so this one here is, you can see six sun proximal to the cubital crease. So remember there is nine sun between the elbow and the height of the, in the, the front of the armpit, that's nine sun. So this one is uh, six uh, up. Um, heart passing, uh, maybe the, 
I, I don't know if this says the other name of heart passing. I might, maybe it's my guess. Um, let's get back to Di Zong. So Di Zong, you can see, I'll give you the diagram. So 4409 is Di Zong, that's the one in the middle. 4410 is three ton above that, which means it's at the level of the armpit or the lower part there. And 4408 uh, Renzong is three ton above lung five. So these are really sort of on the lung channel. Uh, some authors will put them kneeling through the side. Some authors will put them kneeling from the anterior or basically kneeling into that same space. You can see here that this one has an effect on uh, treating the heart. It's a point that's used for uh, even sudden onset chest pain in Dong's acupuncture. It's said to treat yang collapse. Um, I've not had the uh, I've not had the opportunity clinically to use them in acute uh, heart patients, um, which is which is good in my book. They, they haven't been in my office. Um, difficulty breathing, also numbness of the extremities because heart governs that circulation of yang and blood out to the four extremities. But this set of points in this area is also a set of points we frequently use to treat chain, uh, pain. Uh, pain and tightness in the chest. Okay. We can also certainly use uh, Neguan and Jinshir, pericardium six and pericardium seven. There's nothing wrong with those points. Um, these points were actually listed by Master Dong in his original book from 1973 as points that are appropriate for treatment of, of chest pain. Um, 